The Russian space agency says this morning that a cargo mission to the International Space Station is a total loss. And that's raising concern for the crew members at the station. A Russian spacecraft carrying much needed supplies failed to reach the right orbit this week. Elaine Cajano, our digital network CBSN, has more on the cargo ship that is now spiraling back towards Earth. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. While the chance of debris from the vessel hitting a populated area is remote, the head of Russia's space program admits this failure is a big concern. You can see the Earth spinning. Uh, spinning wildly out of control. This is the view from the Russian cargo ship Progress 59 as it plunges rapidly toward the Earth. The Russian space agency lost command of the unmanned vessel when it malfunctioned shortly after takeoff Tuesday. As the 24-foot spacecraft falls, much of it will burn up on re-entry. But a few pieces of debris could make it all the way to the Earth's surface, and scientists have no control over where it will land. Because the spacecraft is out of control, the Russians can't target the re-entry. They can't make sure that it comes in over an uninhabited region of the Pacific Ocean, for example. Complicating matters, the progress was set to deliver more than 6,000 pounds of supplies to the International Space Station. Vital food, water, and oxygen for the current six-person crew, including American Scott Kelly. The program plans for these kind of things to happen. They're very unfortunate when they do, but we do have, um, you know, we do have supplies on board. While the loss of supplies won't put the crew in any immediate danger, this is the second failure of a cargo ship in the past six months. In October, an unmanned orbital sciences rocket exploded while on a resupply trip to the space station. With reserves already down following that fiery accident, there is increased pressure on upcoming missions. This is no immediate threat to the crew, but clearly um, another failure of a supply ship would cause a major problem. Whatever's left of the progress will crash down sometime within the next two weeks. Scientists will have a better idea of where it could land about two days before impact. Gail? Thank you, Elaine.